Is there a way to make plane crashes survivable? One Russian inventor thinks he knows why. Let's take a look. Uh, yes, as that beautiful fanfare told us, that is the way to uh, save a cabin of people. There is a longer version of that video, of course. We will link to it below. Uh, but basically the idea is the cabin full of passengers would be able to be attached to the plane skeleton, I guess you would call it, without the cabin, and then detach in case of emergency during takeoff, cruising, or landing. And then what would happen is uh, some parachutes pop out of the top, and then some flotation devices or cushion devices pop out of the bottom. There seems to be some kind of propulsion system that would cushion the, the fall a little bit. It's not said what would happen to the rest of the plane, the pilots, the crew, et cetera. Um, yeah. Brett I know a feeling. lot of pilots, and I know a lot of flight <laughs> attendants, and this is the dumbest idea. <laughs> OK, Brett. Let's go. Uh, there's, there's a lot going on here. Mm -hmm. The first thing is, yeah, the crew is screwed. Second thing is, like, the places that malfunction, mm -hmm. like, are in, like, things catching fire in the cargo area, the, in the back where all the plumbing is catching fire. Like, the fires in the cabin are a thing that bring down planes. So, so you can't maybe, detach that and stay in it. That's, that's going to be a problem. Maybe we're saving the pilot and the crew and the... Passengers the other thing is, wait a minute, why can't we just put a parachute on the whole plane? <laughs> if, that, if the thing's going to be moving as fast as a plane when it detaches, why are we not just putting parachutes on the plane? On Essentially, the whole plane. this is like, this is a great way to kill pilots. Uh -huh. Well, it's also, also, I think of, you know, when we separate, there's got to be some amo amount of propulsion either way. Maybe... The, the skeleton plane That's of the true. plane would like hit something, maybe if it was during takeoff or landing, potentially more people, um, something explosive at an airport. I, I, I don't know how that would work so, necessarily. Right, and you're going 500 miles an hour, it'd have to be a certain amount of force to, mm -hmm. to change your acceleration to a more manageable speed. Uh, 200 miles an hour, but that is still reducing 200 miles an hour of your speed, which your body will still be traveling forward into your seatbelt as you detach mm -hmm. from the plane. So essentially, you're still running into something at 200 miles an hour. I would like to see experiments about this in practicality before I get on board with this. However, the I inventor- I think the realm of pa practicality has been completely abandoned by this video. I mean, let's pretend it's practical. Okay. Uh, the inventor claims that 95% of the people he interviewed, though he did not say how many people he interviewed, uh, would be in favor of paying more for plane tickets if the detachable cabin were to become a standard feature. Right. So if, it, if, if you could pay more to survive, people would do that. That's mm -hmm. essentially what he asked. Would you, would you pay more to ensure your survival? To save your, your life? Yes. Yes, that's an answer. Would people pay more to ensure their like, travel tickets? Like, people will be like, I'll pay 25 bucks just in case, like, the flight gets canceled. Mm -hmm. You're paying more to get to get something more out of it. What I'm concerned, they have now airbags in the seatbelts. Have you seen that? No. If you ever get in a plane and there's a seatbelt that's, like, really long up to the buckle and it's got, like, a padded area like this, there's an airbag in there. And not every seat in the plane has it. What? So they're doing an experiment. Oh, no. <laughs> what? They are like, all right, well, put half of them. We'll have airbags. Half of them won't. Uh, I mean, which we'll seat do you we'll want? see what happens. <laughs> oh, no. So that's one thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's also some people have brought up the issue of the, the detachable part. Does this uh, hurt the integrity of the plane itself? What if there are issues in connecting it? What I mean, there are already plenty of issues uh, brought up in air travel as it is, and a lot of these are caused by people. I don't know if adding this uh, extra step that people maybe aren't used to checking. Is that uh, idea? For flight attendants, yeah, there's a lot that you need to check ahead of time, but you mm. do. It's not necessarily flight attendants, like and, people yeah. working outside the plane. Right, so the way the plane, the plane aeronautic system set up is it's called the Swiss cheese model. Where like, you know, listen. Wait, is the, this real? Yeah, well, yeah, it, the Swiss cheese model, you know, like what are the, you, you set up enough checks by different people mm -hmm. that there's the even though there might be holes in the cheese they're not going to get all the way through the entire loaf of cheese okay 
That's like what it is. So you can, you know, there might be one, but people are like, oh, you know, there's 50 people checking the plane. It's like mm -hmm. this one will be like, well, that's not working. And they've thought this through. Planes are doing pretty good right now. And you're adding, specifically though, you're adding something else that could get screwed up. And I'm that's... Just, yeah, it worries me that it, it could hurt the integrity of the, the plane itself. Or it could, maybe there'd be a mechanical malfunction. So let's say I'm a, this does work, and I want to kidnap someone. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, okay, I just plant a bomb for a specific, because like, usually if someone's in a plane, you have mm -hmm. to hijack the whole plane, or something you go wrong, you could, this is another way you could put a bomb onto like the, the plane so that it has to jettison its cargo, and you time it so it's right over your, your airspace, mm -hmm. and you just catch, you're just out there like this, catching the, the detached plane. I don't know. I think planes are doing pretty well. I, I mean, think it's, that, an, it, it's a well-intentioned idea. Yes. I don't know if it would work in practicality, that we would need to see that in action, though there aren't this inventor is not the first one to come up with the idea of a detachable cabin. Airbus uh, did file a patent for this in November, though their idea is not safety-based. It would be more to get passengers into the plane quicker. Uh, audience, what do you think? Would you be on, on board uh, a plane <laughs> that would have a detachable cabin? And do you think it would improve the safety of flight? Let us know below in the comments. And won't you please like and subscribe for more?